The most important thing is somebody who can do anything that we might need. We used to hire people who were experts at one thing. Mostly it was people who were writers. I'm talking about not the Tribune, but in the journalism business. Today you really want to hire a Swiss Army knife, somebody with a lot of different tools that can be deployed. Uh, it may not be necessary for you to deploy all of them on the first day, but you want to know that they're there in case you need them. So people who can write, obviously, people who can think, but people who can shoot video, even the kind of video you're shooting now, and edit it, people who can record audio and edit that, people with basic HTML capability so they could do at least the littlest bit of interface with the back end of any kind of content management system. Um, you don't have to be a full-blown HTML ninja, but it would be nice if you had some experience in working with code just so that you could come in and contribute on that end. Um, you know, I'd like people who, if I put them in the middle of an event that we're doing, could potentially moderate a conversation or lead a, a discussion on a topic. The new journalism requires that you do a lot of things. Um, you don't have to do them all expertly, but you have to do them well enough. And so people who are comfortable doing a lot of different things would be a requirement, uh, certainly. The second thing I'm looking for is somebody who, generally speaking, is comfortable with technology, not so much with the things I've just described as with tablets, mobile devices, computers, of course. Uh, the, the revolution has arrived, and it's really over. Uh, the people who say I'm a Luddite, I would just as soon not uh, be working on these additional platforms or devices, I think, are, you know, they should build a time machine and go back to 1970. Their prospects of getting a job at Esquire in the 70s are greater than their prospects of getting a job with a new fangled media or journalism company today. And I would say the third thing is we all want the people who work for us, and especially at the Tribune, to be citizens of the world. We want people who are naturally curious intellectually about what's going on around them and who are engaged in the big conversations that are taking place because in order for you to understand these days what the audience for this kind of media is looking for, you need to be part of the audience. You need to be one of them. You are your own focus group. And uh, people who are not interested enough or curious enough in the world around them um, are, the, are not the right kind of people for this work. I want people who wake up every day thinking about this stuff, go to bed every day thinking about this stuff, not because they have to, but because that's how they're wired.